As someone who's been consistently making YouTube videos for only five months, I would have loved to have had, like when I first started, a behind the scenes kind of guide or like info video on how people plan their videos and their uploads and how they stay consistent. So I'm making one for you. Even though I actually started my YouTube in 2022, I actually fell off a few months in. And once I picked my YouTube back up in October of 2023, that's when I figured out how to be consistent and how to plan and how to stay on top of things. And since then, I've actually hit my 1,000 subscriber marks and my 4,000 hours of watch time, which means that I got monetized by YouTube and I now get paid to make these videos, which is what we all want. So if you're new to this or you're just wondering how people get this all done, here's how I do things. Item number one, you're gonna have to be a planner. If you're not naturally a planner, guess what? Here's your chance to change that because you wanna be a YouTuber, right? Sit down and spend a few hours batching some content ideas. A lot of people think that when you first start out on this journey, that you're just gonna wake up one day and just be like, I have 20 different ideas for all these YouTube videos and I know exactly what I wanna talk about and what they're gonna look like and it's gonna be a hit. And it doesn't really work like that. It's, I wish it did, but it doesn't. Um, you're gonna have to set some time to like sit down and figure out what you wanna talk about, what you want your videos to look like, what music you wanna use, what kind of people you're talking to. And yes, occasionally you will have some days where like you do just get these random ideas and you can use them for your videos and it's gonna work out and it's gonna be great but most of the time you're gonna have to sit down and plan these videos out especially if you're just starting out and trying to figure out the process one of the things that you can do to try to figure out what videos you want to make is to just like look at the calendar year and think about what's going on so right now it's January it's the start of the new year so there's a lot of people that are like trying to make changes so you can make videos about like being a new version of you, starting the new year off strong, getting into good habits, planning for the new year. Another thing that you could do is to like go onto YouTube yourself and just like go on your homepage or like actively search for specific topics and see that, you know, what calls out to you. Like, is it the title? Is it a word in the title? Is it something in the thumbnail? What is it that you're seeing that you could kind of like take and get inspiration from to either make a similar video or to just take something small or that video that you liked and turn it into like your own unique different thing. Now the key whenever you're doing this is to make sure that whatever you're picking makes sense for you and your life. Personally, I really like to see some videos sometimes about people like cleaning, you know, deep cleaning the rugs or the carpets or whatever that be like really muddy and then they clean them and they have like a whole design you didn't even know was there. Yeah, I like watching those, but it doesn't make sense for me in my life to figure out how to make a video about that because I don't do that. I don't have a rug that's that dirty and I don't have those equipments or anything like that. So that doesn't make sense for like me to make a video about that. So if you're going and you're trying to get inspiration from like other people's videos and topics, make sure that whatever it is you're taking inspiration from makes sense for you. And obviously don't make it like a direct copy of anybody else's video. Right along that vein, sometimes the best content that you can make is whatever content naturally fits into your life. So you know, a lot of the girls moved to New York this past year. So if you were moving, then that's something that naturally makes sense in your life that you're gonna be packing, you're gonna be looking for an apartment, you're gonna be unpacking you're gonna be setting up a new space so those are all things that you could film and make videos about and it just makes sense and it makes it authentic and it makes it easy to do because this is something that you're naturally doing then after you spend some time sitting down and like figuring out what videos you want to make it's gonna make your life so much easier moving forward because you're gonna be able to just do like you don't have to sit there every day and figure out what it is you want to make a video about you're gonna have a list in front of you to pull from to just make it easier to start creating number two is to treat you YouTube like a job. So set aside some time to get some shit done because if you don't prioritize your planning, your filming, your editing, this isn't going to happen for you. You're not going to be consistent and your YouTube is going to flop because people aren't going to be able to count on you and know that you're going to be posting regularly. So make sure that you know like what days you're uploading, what days you're filming, editing, planning, all of that. Like make a schedule for yourself if you have to and stick to it. You have to keep yourself accountable to like make this work because at the end of the day, no one is going to tell you to on top of it it's not like a regular job where you have to punch in and then punch out and there's someone like watching over you to make sure that you're doing it you have to be that for yourself and if you don't it's not gonna happen so keeping yourself accountable and staying on top of it is honestly the hardest part I actually recently started doing the 12 week year planning and it has helped me so much with you know staying on top of my content creation getting things done in like a more effective manner which I actually struggled with some before so if you're curious at all about you know using that method 
or if you want to know what template I used or any sort of like tips and tricks on like behind the scenes how I set mine up. I'll link that video up top for you guys to watch and also in the description below. Now if you take the time to like plan and you build a schedule for yourself and you stick to it, it's gonna make it so much easier to like stay on top of your YouTube and to upload consistently because you won't have to sit there and think so much about what it is you're doing. You know, people talk about like analysis paralysis, which is like when you have too many options in front of you and you like don't know what to pick. So you're just kind of like frozen, like rooted to this spot. And the same thing happens when it comes to like trying to do this whole YouTuber thing because you don't really know like what video you should make, if you should plan, if you should edit, if you should film. I have three videos filmed, but none of them edited. Which one should I put out first? Should I spend today trying to do shorts or should I spend today planning for next week? Do I have to do the thumbnail right now? Should I worry about the description? There's a lot of different things that go into, you know, being a YouTuber and creating a YouTube video. So if you sit down and you take the time to plan your videos, like we mentioned in step one, and if you take the time to like create a schedule for yourself, like we're talking about now in step two, then you're going to eliminate all that unnecessary like time spent, like thinking and trying to decide what you have to do. And you can just get to the part where you're actually doing something so that it's easier to like keep going, stay on top of things, knock things out of the park because you have it laid out in front of you. Tip number three is to stockpile a few videos before you post any. So film and edit like your first few videos and then just let them sit. If you want to upload them, then sure, like feel free, but put them under like private or unlisted so nobody can see them yet on your channel. And then just keep doing that until you have like your first two months of videos fully filmed and edited. Now, once you have those first two months of like videos fully ready and you're ready to like launch your YouTube channel, go ahead and post three or four of them live all at the same time. The reason that I'm a fan of this is because let's say that you just post one video and that's all you have live and someone watches it and they really like that video and so they go to your channel looking for more videos from you to watch. If you only have that one video, it makes it really hard for them to like decide whether or not they're going to sit there and subscribe to you or it just makes it hard for them to even remember you to want to go looking for you again. Whereas if you have three or four, when those people go into your channel to see they get a better taste of like what you're about, what your personality is like, what your channel is going to be about. And so it gives you more of a likelihood that they're going to subscribe or even just remember you. Another reason that I really like doing this is that if you have like eight or nine plus videos for like your two months that are fully ready to go before you make anything live is that like you're giving yourself time to sit there and like fully like learn and experience like the editing process and the filming process and just like work out those kinks that everybody has when they first start. Whereas if you're sitting there and you film one video and then you post it and you have to keep going, it's very likely that you end up feeling extremely pressured because you're like, oh my God, it's Friday. I have to film a video today and make sure that I have it edited by Tuesday to post on Wednesday. And so all that pressure makes the whole experience and the process a lot less fun and less enjoyable than it should be if you're doing this because you like it. So now you have a plan, you have a schedule, your videos are posted and they're live and you have more on the way when suddenly one of your videos pops off and does really well. If this happens to you, ask yourself what it is that your audience who watched that video, what would they naturally want to see next? People who like you and they like your videos, they're naturally going to want to see more of you. So when that video pops off, think about what you can give them that is kind of similar or along the same vein to that video that they watched. So going back to that whole like moving uh, situation earlier where like last year, a lot of people moved to New York. So if someone watched a video of someone saying, hey, I'm moving to New York and it's the announcement video then naturally what do you want to see I want to see you know apartment hunting in New York I want to see you actually moving to New York I want to see you unpacking in New York I want to see you decorating your new place in New York so that's how you take like that one video that like did well and think about what can I give them that is like naturally in line or similar to what they watched so that they can keep enjoying my videos and keep coming back for more you can also think of it like Oreos which sounds kind of weird but just <laughs> just hear me out for a second I really like Oreos so what does that mean? That means that naturally I also really like cookies and cream ice cream. It means that I like, you know, cookies and cream topping on my froyo. It means that I like a cookies and cream pie. It means that I like a cookies and cream Hershey bar or um, a cookies and cream protein powder. You see what I mean here? The people who are watching your YouTube videos are looking to see what your cookies and cream is. So it could literally be anything. Like it could be your personality, your editing style, the way that you set up the videos, the way you set up the camera, what it is you're saying like your personal takes on things like hot takes, whatever it is, figure out what it is that made them subscribe and then make sure that like you keep 
putting that into your videos as long as it fits with you. Don't go like way over the top trying to please everybody that you start doing something that doesn't make sense for you or you don't actually enjoy. After all of that's done, it's literally just a rinse and repeat process where you're just gonna keep doing the same thing over and over and over. You're gonna sit down and plan. And once you've made those videos or you're close to finish making those videos, you're gonna sit down and you're gonna plan again. And you're gonna stick to your schedule to make sure that you're batching your content properly, that you're staying on top of things, that you're not like exhausted exhausting yourself with either too many choices or just running yourself ragged because you're cramming too many things into one day. So with all that being said, good luck to you guys with your YouTube channels this year. If you liked this video, then definitely let me know in the comments below what it was that you liked. You know, what my, you know, cookies and cream, what my Oreos is that you guys liked about me or this video. It really helps me a lot to make sure that like I'm, you know, in touch with you guys and that we're on the same page on what you're looking for and what I can give to you guys whenever these videos come out. Make sure you subscribe and like usual. Not my light going out. Did y'all just see that? <laughs> anyway, please subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. And like usual, I will see you guys in my daily YouTube shorts or in next week's long video. Bye.